Is that one wing? That's a wing. That's supposedly a wing. I wouldn't take that as a wing. Yeah, tell me, it's just a wing. I don't know what that is, dude. That's not a wing. We've just finished up. That was a good workout, I'll tell you that. It yeah. was a lot of fun. We had more fun than the kids. Yeah, I was just I feel I felt like I was five years old again. Yeah. Uh, I'm hungry now. But we need somewhere that's got push chair access. Oh, it's child friendly, yeah. Maybe somewhere with little burgers for kids. Somewhere with a changing unit. Somewhere spacious and we're not gonna disturb our diners. Quite a few options around here. I've got an idea. Follow me. Wait, wait, we better get the kids. Get, get, get the kids. Hola, amigos! Alright, it's not a Spanish or a Mexican place. It's actually just a, a burger joint yeah. from West London. But it's called Amigos. And, they and we do, are amigos. We are two amigos, plus a few others. Um, but we're here for the burgers and to check out the children's menu. One zero five six is my ticket, and it's ready. Is that one zero five six? Which one? Uh, I had a hot dog. This is the correct number one zero five eight. This is me. I tell you what, the okay. Look, it's not my fault yet because this is the ticket number, but it's not a receipt. Like, how do I know what I ordered? Well, it says one zero five eight. Yeah, but one zero five eight. What's the order though? I oh, forget. Just to uh, remind me of the fun times. So what are the, what's child friendly about this restaurant? Yeah, so basically we came here uh, hoping that we be child friendly. There's no high chairs. There's no baby changing. However, the positives are there is a children's menu. It's quite casual, the restaurant, and it's quite spacious. So those are bonuses, right? It's not family friendly. Not family friendly. Isn't it? Yeah, do you need a high chair? Yeah, no hard chair for me, so I'm gonna have to stand up and eat at the table. Is that one wing? That's a wing. That's supposedly a wing. I wouldn't take that as a wing. It's just a wing. That's not a wing. Yeah, tell me, it's just a wing. I don't know what that is, dude. That's not a wing. I'll go and uh, get that chopped soft out for a proper wing. Do you reckon it's not chicken? It looks like a pigeon wing. Don't shout in Vegas. Oh, sorry. What is it? Texan. What's in it? Uh, ketchup, mayo, lettuce, cheese. A little bit boring. Yeah, I like it. No surprises, but tastes good. Okay. Unboxing of a burger. Lettuce, tomatoes. This is the habanero. And there should be a turkey rasher in there, but there's no turkey rasher. This is really spicy. I'm breathing out flames. What was the food like? Yeah, so I said Amigos is all about the burgers, um, and they've, they've made their name from stacked up big, huge burgers. Burgers, all right. 
No, it hits the spot, it's reasonably priced, and it's a nice little local joint for the burgers. However, now, have a look at those chicken wings. They were like, disappointingly small. Had the hot dog as well. Hot dog, now there was way too much going on with that hot dog in it. I don't think it worked. The worst thing is the bun itself was a little bit chewy. The yeah. tenders, chicken tenders, chicken strips, that was a bit chewy as well. I mean, all in all, other than the burger, nothing else really worked here. For and me. The, the habanero burger was a bit, oh, a tad too spicy for me. Like, I, my mouth was on fire, and I can handle spice, but maybe it, my tolerance levels aren't as good as. Well, you say that, but then this guy here. Hello. <laughs> you thought the spice was just right. Bengali life. Bengali life is spice. <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I, to be honest, I, I enjoyed my burger. I thought it was really good. Um, my wife enjoyed her burger as well. The kids enjoyed her their burgers. You had so, Happy Nero. Yeah, yeah, Happy Nero. I thought it was good. And for taste, we'd have to give it a three star. Okay. Um, if that's a three star, let's talk about the service. Um, you come in, the way it works here, you come in, you make your order, you sit down, you make your order, they give you a piece of paper with a number on it and then you have to go off into the wilderness and wait to be summoned. And wait, pause it. I mean, I think, you know, in, in their defense, it looked like the printer wasn't working, so it wasn't printing out the receipts. But I feel like that's, that was causing a bit of mayhem. Yeah. We didn't know exactly what we ordered. We couldn't confirm that they had the correct order. And then sometimes if our um, tickets got mixed up, in my case it did, and I took the wrong ticket up there, so no, that's not what I ordered. There's, there's other ways you can solve this problem and um, they got my order wrong. They sent my wings to someone else. To me? To I, thought, I thought I got lucky, two pushing the wings. Like, yes! Nah, nah yeah, okay. yeah. so that, that's what happened. And then the turkey rusher on my burger went missing. And yeah, um, I would say this is not the best service I've ever had. Two star. Two star service. And then the price wise, so now, the, we, we came specifically for children's, uh, so ch ch child friendly. Children's menu, the price was actually decent, three ninety nine for burger, uh, fries and a fruit shoot. However, now this is my bugbear, their, their menu, they've got so many other options that are good for children, like the nuggets, yeah. or, or the chicken poppers, or the strips, and that's not in the children's menu, only the burger is. Yeah. Like, what's that about? Okay, and they don't have a changing area. They don't have any high chairs. This isn't the most kid-friendly place. Well, it's probably about, about 15 pounds a meal. No. No? For two people. For two, yeah. Yeah, 15 pounds for two people. So 750 a meal. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I, that's the way it works for me. I always pay for two people. Per person is all over. All right, that's it. So I hang out, signing out. Don't forget to Subscribe, like and share and remember these kids are going to be our next generation so um, treat them well and feed Discipline them well. Them. I mean, yeah, <laughs> treat, treat them well. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the milkshakes, I forgot to mention, they are really good here actually. They use uh, fresh whipped ice cream to mm. give it that thick creamy milkshake mm. that we want, that we like. Um, and they do all the chocolate bar flavours, vanilla, strawberry as well. And. Um, they do protein shakes as well. Oh, good. Yeah. Milkshakes definitely a positive here. You, can, I, I just come here just for milkshake. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm actually here to apply for the grill chef job. Please hire me. I work very hard. I know how to grill chicken. Please. You're hired.